They've got Robinson. Tony Kukoc is out there with Scotty Barnes. And there's Carter. And it's Young in at the point guard. You can feel the excitement for the new season. And Greg, when you were playing, is there an opening game that really stands out in your mind? Back in 95, I think it was, when we started the season with back-to-back with -back wins. And the team was feeling good. Then we uh, promptly lost 21 straight. And so it's the Knicks getting on the board first. Memphis moving that ball around. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Oh, they've got their eyes on him. And the foul right away. Here starts. It's Jordan on the win. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength to convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Now here's Kukoc. Back to Young. Props in the layup for two. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Oh, you, you hear that sound? That's uh, the yep. flushing of the toilet oh. right there. <laughs> Greg, a fierce two-hander. And it's been a rough stretch for the New York Knicks, a team that has only had a handful of playoff appearances in the last 20 years. And there's the whistle, three-second violation. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Starts the pass to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. The Knicks are trying to get back to being competitive GA, but it has been difficult, hasn't it? They haven't been able to attract top-level talent for quite some time, which is surprising when you consider this big market and, and the status this franchise has within the city. And that miss makes them four of five to start this one. Not a bad start. Yo, I like everything he's doing so far offensively, finding his spots, making strong selections. And here starts, following the three-pointer by Trey Young. Here's Jordan Robinson with the block. And there you see why Robinson is, is the anchor of this defense. Massive wingspan easily allowing him to turn away shots. Now here is Robinson. And a dunk by Robinson. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Rodman, no good. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Yeah, this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. And stolen by Jordan. And slammed up by Jordan. Well, that's why they're in front. Aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. The Grizzlies trail by five. Outside, Kukos. Young against Starks. Young outside. Shot clock at five. From about 16, connects the jumper drops. Young's got seven. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And the way Trey Young, GA, is the focus of this offense. The numbers j just pile up. Yeah, I mean, they run so much through him. I mean, his usage rate is off the charts. Led the entire league in total points and total assists in 2022. That hadn't been done in 49 years. Just five on the clock. Here's Robinson. And it's Jordan with the rebound. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. So timeout call here. The first for Memphis.
So Memphis ends up going with the new group. And the new group in for the Knicks. Porzingis is... And a close game so far through the first... All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and... For the Grizzlies, the first quarter was pretty even. They trailed by as many as six points in the first period. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. Kenny, what was your take on Memphis? The bench going has been a big key. And that's going to do it. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. If you look at John Starks in this game, he's been everywhere. And the way that he has helped out. The cell, he's checked in for Tony Kukoc. And a switcher also for New York. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for Wiggins. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Grizzlies. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the five for Tom Thibodeau right now. They've got Jordan. Dennis Robin is out there with Igudawa. And there's Embiid. And it starts in at the point. Young pass to Barnes. The pass to Vassell. Young trying to break free. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. They get Andre Igudawa. Yeah, the defender all over. The line Craig the Devin Vassell came in as a 3 and D type player. But he's grown beyond that. And he has added secondary ways to contribute on offense. Still, not a great shot creator, but can finish plays in a variety of ways to help his team. And it's Barnes smacking it down. And he's a skilled and willing passer. Vince gets to his teammates on time and on target. Here's Jordan, and he uses the glass on the lane. Yeah, putting the team on his back as he often does. The tighter the game gets, the more Jordan wants the ball. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan, and everything falls into place for a team. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Trey Young. Yeah, his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, Taylor Jenkins just reviewed his plan with his team. He loves the aggressiveness on D. He said, we're doing a great job of challenging everything they're trying to do. Stay active, talk to each other, don't let up. Kevin? Thank you, David. Yeah, and Robinson is a franchise-defining talent, a, a chiseled, powerful center, a remarkable leader. First free throw is good. At the line for the mix. He's off on the second. Jordan with the steal. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. It's not often you see him fail to deliver at the line like this. Who goes dishes to Robinson? He doesn't hit that one. Now the Knicks take it the other way. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter. Jordan inside, defended by Carter. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. As if Jordan weren't challenging enough to guard. But the little upbeat there, putting the defender at his mercy. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really want. He's got one more, though. So he comes up empty at the line. And the Grizzlies leading by six. Here's Young. Sweet little floater. Young's got 12 points now in the quarter. And some crafty inside play from Young. Finding a way around the defense to get his shot. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Young is double. And here we go. 
Here's a start. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. That's on David Robinson. He drops the first one, and that brings them within five. John taking two shots. And both free throws, good for Starks. It's easy to see why his teammates trust him. He's a leader on this team and loves coming out huge in the club. And stolen by Jordan. Goes up. And the dunk by Jordan. Boy, I, I'll tell you, there's an art to doing this. What's amazing is how often Jordan hits the clutch shot. Hook loose. Starks with his deal. And now the Knicks on the break to tie it up outside for Jordan to take the lead that's a miss his fifth eight made field goal Carter with the three back is the rebound back to Young there's the lob to Carter Count. he's such an instinctual player Young often sees the opportunity before anyone else Guys, this possession could decide their fate. And they have to be careful with the ball. Here's Jordan. Excellent D that time from Robinson. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. And so he's picked up his final foul. That's it for the rest of this game. Zegas has checked in for Joel Embiid. And we continue to see Young take on more responsibility welcoming the challenge to go to the line. New York calls timeout. They're trailing by five. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Get a free teacher. There's 21 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And that's an intentional foul. Michael Jordan for his personal foul. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. Carter, just a freak of nature. One of the best dunkers the game has ever seen. A, a top-tier shooting guard who just embraces the spotlight. Jordan can't get it to go. And now we've got the intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. He is the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And Young's confidence is... It. And so the Grizzlies take the win. It all right, David. Thank you. to an all-new episode of NBA 2K TV. Now this week, Team 2K TV takes on you, the community. Yeah, we do. Are you guys... Up next, the... Happy Friday night, everyone. Time to kick... Allie, it's all... The NBA is pretty... Yeah, smart move. Thanks, Allie. Now let's check out the starters for the Detroit Pistons. John Moran is out there with Shea Gilgis Alexander. Sabonis, then it's Larry Nance, and for the Knicks. Over the last couple of seasons, Doris, the Knicks have played great defense. Well, look no further, B.A., than their head coach. Obviously, Tom Thibodeau built his reputation on the defensive end of the floor. It begins with attitude. It means playing on a string, being committed to each other. Everyone will play defense at all times. No possessions off. And Detroit has possession. After the basket by New York. Here's Iguodala. Hits the trifecta. Well, Iguodala gets himself squared up before shooting. You can't give him that kind of space. Pass to Nance. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 
And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Watching SGA run this offense, he's so patient and he reads the defense exceptionally well. Yeah, Gilgis Alexander really plays at his pace, Grant. You know, B.A., he's one of those guys the defense just can't speed up. And every move is purposeful. No wasted motion. He methodically breaks you down. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Left block shot on the way. The Knicks have gone two of three from the floor. Jordan with it. Guarded by Moran. Jordan against Moran. Soft touch off the glass. I just love his approach coming into tonight. Focused and aggressive. Outside Moran. Pass to Nance. Here's Sabonis. To the middle. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and he converts the layup. And I like what the defense was thinking, but Gilgis Alexander just outworks them and gets his shot. Jordan against Gilgis Alexander. Jordan inside. Oh, he missed the layup. He had him with the pump fake. The Pistons have gone one for three so far. And Nance gets it to go on the assist by Gilgis Alexander. I can see the excitement with Shea Gilgis Alexander, so young and yet so gifted as a passer. Jordan misses. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Down low, Nance. Here's Jamison. And he hits it to tie the game. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. And with every new NBA season, Grab, it's always fun to see which players have a breakout year. NBA, it seems like guys always have breakout years. Usually we see it with the younger players, but sometimes it's with guys who've been in the league and are now in new situations. Last year, we saw breakout seasons for Darius Garland, Jordan Poole, and Tyrese Maxey, just to name a few. Now here's Gilgis Alexander, inside. Parked it down low that time, got hit with the three-second call. And a moment to check out the 2K leaderboard. Here were the best rebounders last season. In the third spot, Demonis Sabonis. And of course, Joel Embiid. These two were a consistent presence around the rim. Able to anticipate where the ball was going and just gobbling up the boards. And it's going to be a three-second call. Detroit ball. The Pistons trailing. Morant, the pass to Nance. That's tipped. Fast break, New York. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got seven points in the game. Uh, what a great look by Andre Iguodala. We know he's unselfish. If there's space for his guy, he's going to find him. Detroit calls timeout. First chance of the season for them to go up against this next team. And in a series of the half dots last year, they came out on the losing end. Really looking for some improvement here. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Morant, no good. The Knicks have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Pass to Starks. Back to Jordan. As he's fouled, it'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Defensive and a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Knicks. That's well, hey guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been? Just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. Moran, the pass to Bogdanovich. <laughs> Now here's Moran. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Just five to shoot. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. A squat by Porzingis. That wingspan letting you know he's in the house. Iguodala, the pass to Jordan. Two minutes. The shot won't fall. Jones with some nice D. From last season, the NBA mourned the passing of Hall of Famer Bob Lanier. He played his first decade with the Pistons. 
a sad um, loss for the NBA. Now, he represented them seven times as an all-star. But for all his greatness on the court, he'll be remembered just as much for the work he did off the court as the league's global ambassador. Now here's Jones. Outside Bogdanovich. Outside Moran. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Oh, Jordan with the block. To the inside, Iguodala. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Iguodala's got five points. Well, that's great touch from Andre Iguodala. Fearless and efficient. Love it. Pass to Lister. And here's Jones. Here's Moran. Hits the target from 18 feet. Look at the mechanics on Moran's shot. He can totally trust himself to hit the quick jumper. Now here's Jordan. Here's Porzingis. Misses from short range. The Pistons have gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. Here's Moran. He got a piece of it. Boy, the suffocating defense of Andre Iguodala. So important to his team. Really good job timing the shot there. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. He's off on the first. The Knicks making a switch here. Wiggins is checked in. At the line. And he sinks the second. 19 seconds left to play in the first. Outside Moran. Floats one up. With one on the clock. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer. And credit him for understanding the situation and coming through. And to me, the way you end. And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Knicks out in front, up by three. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight. Both teams deciding to change it up. We've got Christoph Porzingis, and it's Iguodala in at the small forward position. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Pass to Lister. Nance outside. Now Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Looking to win the drought. And it's good on the lay-in. Gilgis Alexander's got four points now in the quarter. But because of his length, Shea Gilgis Alexander has no issues operating near the cup. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, guys, Shea Gilgis Alexander, one of the deadliest drivers in the league. Coach Nick Nurse of the Raptors said, quote, his first step is unbelievable. It's hard for anybody to keep him in front of him. And once he blows by you, he can slow down, he can sidestep. He's got a lot of things going. Brian? Well, it's fun to watch, Allie. Thanks for that. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever uh, make a business decision? Yeah, B.A., you know, I've made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, you want to make sure that you can play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. Here's Lister. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. The Knicks with the lead. 133 left in the first half. Here's Jordan. 11 points in the game. Pass to Porzingis. Iguodala outside. Jordan against Moran. Got a hand on it. Hands outside. Knocked loose. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. 
Plenty of space. Rebound Detroit. And we haven't seen them pound the ball inside and draw as much contact this quarter. Here's Newman. He's covered by Grant. Here's Bogdanovich. The shot, no good. Hey, great D that time from Grant. Looking to end this cold spell. Here's Porzingis. He's now one for two with that bucket. Scoring through contact is something Kristaps Porzingis has got to get used to in the NBA. Teams try to get physical with this guy. Pass to Newman. Back to Moran. Nance outside. And here's Moran. Clock at six. Deflected! It might be a good idea to run the clock. Hold it for the last shot. It's all about patience right here. Patience and execution. Get a good look. Here's Jordan. Goes back up. Porzingis. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And now it's an eight-point Nick lead. Well, you want to stop Porzingis to insert himself off. 25. Thanks, Allie. After the break, That's we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. For the Knicks, the first quarter was pretty even. And in one stretch there, they were up by six. After a solid second quarter, they filled their lead to eight at halftime. And take it. And... We've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Porzingis has gone two of three from the floor. You have to think with this Pistons squad that all eyes are on the future as opposed to the here and now. Young guys focused on reaching their potential. Setting the floor for the Pistons. Five to shoot. Pass to Moran. Puts it up from 15. That went off the back iron and out. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. So where do you see the ceiling for this younger Pistons team as they continue to grow? You know, Bia, it's always difficult to predict the limits of a team. But as long as they continue to steadily develop, they could become a unit with playoff potential. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Man, the defender really went after him. That one misses. Nance, he's checked in for the Pistons. And he can't hit the second. Uncharacteristic trip to the line for him. Just lost his feel on those shots. Iguodala against Gilgis Alexander. Over Iguodala. Joel Embiid with the board. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First personal foul. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid. The first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982, Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. And that one's long. Wow, another empty possession out of the gates. 0 for 4 in this half. Brutal. To the paint. Oh, stolen by Moran. Nance outside. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Sabonis. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Well, you love the aggressiveness of DeMontis Sabonis attacking and using his size to his advantage. Wiggins, he's checked in for New York. And a switch here also for Detroit. Jones, he's checked in for John Moran. Jordan with the bucket. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. 
loses the glass on the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got nine. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. New York has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Here's Jordan and Gilgis Alexander with a block. Wow, Shea Gilgis Alexander off his feet and sends it back. Here's Jones. That one's wide left. And just not allowing the shooter to get comfortable from mid-range. Well, he sees the play developing, takes care of his responsibility, just wow. terrific job defensively. Oh, 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 not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? Back to Jones. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Oh, he really fought for that one. Battling through contact to complete the play. One shot. The free throw off from Jones. And early in his career, Porzingis was a shot creator. I think he can get back to that, Grant? You know, B.A., yeah. In Dallas, his role was more catch and shoot. So it'll be interesting to see in a different system how active a role KP can fill, especially going to work inside. Back to Sabonis. Pass to Newman. Here's Jones. Oh, Jordan with the block. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive, and they've been physical. The rebound by Bogdanovich. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Next stop, Christoph Porzingis. First personal foul, 13 foul. And he can't get the first one. At the line, two shots. Good on the second one. The Knicks have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. Here's Jordan. Banked it in off the glass. Jordan's got 15 points. Well, what a job. Punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. Bogdanovich. Yep, that one's good. I don't think there's much more you can do. Bogdanovich is too skilled and too strong on these finishes with contact. Now here's Jordan. The D's right on him. Tipped. And he gets it back. The Pistons clear it. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Pistons focusing on improving their scoring. Coach Dwayne Casey said, quote, this is an offensive league. In today's game, you've got to be able to shoot the three because you can't make enough twos to win. It's tough to defend the three, so you've got to keep that scoreboard moving. Back to you. Floor spacing at a premium, Allie. Thank you. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great. And so it's Detroit with it. They trail by three. They've got Andrew Wiggins. Joel Embiid is out there with Andre Iguodala. And it's Jordan in at the point. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Stepping up to secure the board. He just wanted it more. Looking to get it going. And it's good on the layup. And the Knicks lead by five. Or he can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. Pass to Wiggins. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Larry Nance. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Well, free throw shooting is a constant cause of concern for them. And today, that concern has been front and center. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Nance. Pass to Jamison. To the middle. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Boy, when the conversation turns to the young stars in the NBA, I think it's hard to leave Shea Gilgis.
Gilgis Alexander off this list. This is a 6'6 six, six point guard who can do it all. And Gilgis Alexander, he was unstoppable to end the 2021-22 season. He was, B.A., because before being shut down with that ankle injury, consider this. Shea averaged over 30 points, 7 assists, and 5 rebounds over a 13-game span. And that was with shooting splits of 54% and 39% from three. That's very impressive. Shot clock at six. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for New York? Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Here's Moran. Pass to Nance. Gilgis Alexander against Jordan. Six on the shot clock. And he lobs it up top. Oh, nice shot by Jameson. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Here's Jordan. The shot misses. And Detroit the other way now. Boy, plenty of time left on the clock. He needs to keep his voice. That's his fourth foul now. And the Pistons call time here. And this late game timeout, getting a breather here. Important for the players to recharge. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with some Gatorade. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Dwayne Casey address the team. Point blank, he wants better shot selection. He told them, we're settling, guys. Come on. We're not being patient out there. We're not working the ball around. That has to change right now. Great work, Allie. Thanks. And that was good. In the paint, Morant stays nimble, and that allows him to make any needed adjustment to his shot. Jordan against Gilgis Alexander. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got seven points here in the quarter. And credit his teammates for feeding him all quarter. Pass to Jamison, and here's Morant. Here's Nance. Here's Jamison. Now Moran. It's rebounded by New York. Embiid's got his eighth rebound here tonight. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. You know, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Tries again. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. Kristaps Porzingis, he's checked in for Embiid. And the switch here also for Detroit. Jones has checked in. Well, this is the kind of player he is. The tougher the moment, the more he elevates his game. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. <laughs> what an impressive performance for him tonight, particularly on the scoreboard. But understand, the team's unselfish play, the ball movement, the player movement, allowed him to convert consistently on the offensive end. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. And they'll pin that one on Larry Nance. That's his third foul so far. Second team foul. So it's the Knicks now. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Starks. And here's Iguodala. Oh, deflected. You love that defensive effort right there showing up. New York foul. Michael Jordan. Fifth personal foul. 
15. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis I think what you love about Shea Gilgis Alexander is the size, athleticism, and instincts he brings to the position. This guy has the whole package. Morant, he's checked in for the Pistons. Jordan misses. For Detroit, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Gilgis Alexander passes to Morant. And again, the Pistons missing. Pass to Rodman. The jump hook. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. Here's Moran. That one's good. This game is all even. Moran's got four points this quarter. Can you say prime time player Moran? He enjoys delivering for his team in these parts of the game. Here's Jordan. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Shea Gilgis Alexander. The officials were right on top of that one. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. You know, he doesn't let that opportunity slip by. Very some big shots at the line. Pass to Sabonis. Back to Moran to take the lead. He drops it from range. And the Pistons lead by one. Oh, in pressure moments, he's a guy you trust to make big shots. Now here's Jordan. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Here's Moran. The Knicks with the rebound. Here's Jordan. It's good! And the stakes were high right there. What? I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. And the Pistons call time here. They're losing by one. There's 39 seconds left in the game. All right, guys, what do you think? With the time left, I think they've got to be looking for a quick shot here. Embiid, he's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Here's Moran. No good there with a step back J. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Rodman. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw is coming his way. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Dennis Rodman at the line. With the big time man one. This is now a two possession game. And the Pistons call time here. They're trailing by four. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the Pistons with possession here. Four point game. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And here's Moran outside. Rodman with a rebound. Here's Jordan. And it's good for two. Jordan's got 30 points. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. All right, Alec, thank you. And that about wraps it up. Four. In my career, badges can make a good build great. In NBA 2K23, you'll get rewarded this year for the badges you use the most by choosing one core badge. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got DA Jake and Open. Thanks very much. Now, God As is always the best case. David, thank you. A look at the starting group for the Magic. Cummings is out there with Matumbo. Then there's Murray. Then it's Ingram, and it's Peyton in at the point guard. And for the Knicks, they've got Dennis Rodman.
Starks is out there with Michael Jordan. And there's Embiid. And it's Iguodala in at the small forward spot. It's a battle of the bigs. Two fantastic centers, Clark, in this matchup tonight. <laughs> Some throwback basketball. Well, you know, there was a time, Kevin, when centers dominated the league. And as you said, tonight we're going to throw it back to those days. And so it's the Knicks getting on the board first. Peyton surveying the floor. To the paint. Outside for Murray. Five on the clock. On the line. I'm shot as good that time. You know, he's really capable from the mid-range. And I think the more Murray shoots from there, the more of a threat he'll be and the more well-rounded offensively he'll be. Now, here's Jordan. Last game with 30 points. A shot by Starks. No good. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Orlando Magic. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Here's Ingram. And no good. Good D by Embiid. And Jordan has it in the corner. Inside. Back to Embiid. Goes back up. He takes it up and lays it in. Embiid's got his second basket of the night. Hey, good luck trying to move Embiid off the block. Joel has position. There's not much anybody can do to stop him. Murray against Jordan. Low block shot. Murray, no good. Knicks have gone two for four from the field so far today. And it's the growth of Murray as a distributor that has really proved to be a great point guard. There were questions about that early in his career. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. And he can't hit the second. And Greg, you can see it, Murray has really improved his passing. It has a great sense of the court and spacing reads defense as well and can direct his teammates could see him being an elite passer in no time that's the kind of d you need when he's got the ball near the hoop they were all over you're not going to see that very often plenty of space but he just let's face it he whips on that now here's coming following the miss by michael jordan he is such a well-coordinated fluid athlete for his side joel Embiid blocks a lot of shots and probably changes even more. I've been against Cummings. Murray, the pass to Cummings. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Peyton. The Magic again can hit. Down low and stolen by Peyton. And in transition, it's Ingram. Here we go. Over Iguodala. And it's Ingram missing. The Knicks leading by three. Here's Jordan. And Jordan throws it down. Nicely done by John Starks there. Got the ball right to the shooter. On time and on target. And now the first time I've called here for the Magic. They couldn't put the pieces together losing that last matchup with Boston. Yeah, they made some spectacular plays in it right to the very end just as they couldn't get over the hump. Yeah, you know, they didn't have their best stuff, but they were still getting after it, so you got to really appreciate the effort and hustle. The Knicks making a switch here. Higgins is checked in. Then for the Magic, Clint Capella, he's checked in for Matumbo. Fox comes in for Brandon Ingram. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for DeJounte Murray. Now, here's Jordan. And Peyton sends it back. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. It's Rodman with the ball for the New York Knicks. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. There's all kind of talk in the game today about stretching the floor. Because when you do that, everything else just becomes a little easier. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. Rozier, he's checked in for Gary Payton. 
The hardworking junkyard dog throwback game of Rodman is part of what makes him so lovable and valuable. He's considered one of the greatest defenders ever, and he's also in that category as a rebounder, too. Now, here's Rogier. The wide open look here for Fox. And they recover it. Second shot opportunity. And, and here's some numbers on Fox. Coming off a terrific season. And he also finished in the top 20 of the assist break. He's making plays for others and making his teammates better. Oh, yeah. One of the most dependable scorers in the league. He really saved him in several games a season ago. And he's a clever, physical defender. Fox also understands his spots on offense and how to be effective. Well, I tell you what, you look at the youth of the Magic and the talent they have all throughout the roster, I think it's just a matter of time and season before this team takes a really big jump forward. Here's Fox following the basket by Michael Jordan. Shoots the three. The Magic again can't hit. The Knicks leading by four. Rodman and that one good well we've seen Rodman do that often going up getting that board and getting the put back exactly what you want from him inside now here's Fox he's been quiet so far still no points in the game Ogier for three Knicks with the rebound and Bede's got four rebounds in this game here's Jordan that's a bucket. His third of the game. He shot the ball seven times. The touch on Jordan's close-range shots is really outstanding. He almost makes it look simple and easy to score in close like that. And the officials will call the elite. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down. On the and you know, part of the Magic have collected their young talent in a number of ways. Yeah, I like the diversity of accumulation, if you will. They've traded for some. They've drafted most. They know when their timeline is. The Magic, I think, have done a really good job with their rebuild. And that one misses. Teams nowadays tracking deflections in addition to steal. Were they something you were aware of when you played defense, Greg? And even if they weren't tracked, uh, they were valued. And, and I remember early in my career, that was something with the Knicks that would always emphasize because deflections were a true indicator of activity, especially defensive. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the five for Tom Thibodeau right now. Who got starts. Grant is out there with Iguodala. Then it's Jordan. And it's Brzingis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Peyton passes to Ingram. And the whistle blow is going to be on Andre Iguodala. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Here's the pass to Ingram. Murray outside to the middle. Here's Peyton. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Second personal fan. Superb strength there from Peyton, absorbing the contact and keeping his composure for the finish. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Here's Jordan. And 10 shot. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. To the inside. And the dunk by Capella. He's a high percentage scorer for a reason now. Capella and alley oop special. Looking to get back on track here. And Capella sends it back. Boy, he just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Knicks ball. The Knicks leading by three. Michael Jordan on the wing. Covered by Peyton. Out of bounds. Orlando takes possession. And one thing, Greg, we know Capella has always done. He plays to his strengths. It's a great point, Kevin. Capella knows where he's best and, and really focuses on that. Can help the team with minimal touches on offense, but he really anchors the defense by not overextending. And that's foul number two. It, maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. The Knicks shooting under 40% all in all for the game. Here's Jordan. 
The shot will not fall. Good work defensively by Capella. This shot's just, it's not there right now with his team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Here's Jordan driving the lane. The shot's good on the assist by Igudala. 11 points for Michael Jordan. Yeah, just forcing the issue offensively. The great thing about Jordan, he does it while staying under control. Hayden with the ball. He's got five. Here's Murray. Softly drops it in the floater. Murray's got six. Well, that floater is a shot Murray's had his whole life, guys. The first time I saw him back in college, I could tell right away, instantly, what a great feel he had for that shot. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Orlando this season. And two teams here that were evenly matched a season ago as they split the season series. Yeah, they'd settle for 500 against most teams. Both squads win, challenge, perhaps a way to put it. But one of them has got to win tonight. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. And DeJounte Murray gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Cummings, he's checked in for Orlando. Jordan finds Porzingis. It's stolen by Matumbo. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. Orlando has a very young roster. Coach Jamal Mosley says, one thing I've said to them is dominate the simple. The more we can keep it simple, the better we'll be. Not overthinking things, just playing off instincts and reactions. Kevin, back to you. Place to uh, start. Makes a lot of sense. David, thanks. We all know about Michael's offensive prowess, okay? But he's incredible defensively as well. He works hard at that end, and that's rare for a star. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Pazinkas. Rodman comes in for Horace Grant. And it's Shrimp in for Andre Iguodala. Here's Jordan. And an Ingram picking up that last bucket. Still very early in the season here, but Team Greg beginning to hit their stride and get into a rhythm. And the same can be said for the younger talent. The rookies are shaking off those debut jitters and starting to show us what they can really do. The Magic making a switch here. Fox has checked in. Now here's Ingram. Pass to Murray. Over Jordan. That one wide left. The Knicks with the lead. Outside Robin. Jordan deciding where to go with it, and it's blocked. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. Begins his check in for Jordan. And as Witcher also for Orlando. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just... It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone. New York holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They are leading by four. Kenny, what was your impression? You have to love a team that pounds the offensive glass. That's going to gain you extra possession. And check this out. Sometimes, just have to... And... And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Well, I thought it was a great defensive performance for him so far. He's aware, he's alive, he's alert, quick to react to everything that's going on around him. Can't do it much better than that. Checking out the group for Jamal Mosley to start the second half. Cummings is out there with Ingram. And it's Mutombo. Then there's Peyton. And it's Murray in a shooting guard. New York shooting at 36%. They really seem out of sync offensively. Knock loose. And they double up Jordan. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's going to be on Gary Payton. Pretty good display of strength by Jordan there. Absorb the contact and steal. Able to nail the shot. So far tonight, he's gone four of six at the line. 
he struggled mightily at the free throw line in their last game. Yeah, it wasn't his best performance at all from the strike. He's got to put it behind him, and I know he'd like to immediate. Pass to Payton. Out to Ingram. Just five to shoot. Here's Payton. Orlando gets it back. A jumbo. A three. And it's Ingram missing. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Second team foul. And Rodman, no good on that one. The Magic trail by seven. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. Once again off the mark, Orlando. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. They found a nice move in this half, starting out 3 for 4. Orlando's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Ball's not loose. Jordan with the steal. Inside. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Another shot. Cummings grabs the board. Magic have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. Here's Murray. They can't stop the run with that one. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Next lane, 44. And Ingram has got the ball here for the Orlando Magic. 11-point game. They can look forward to the Cavaliers after this game in a matchup against Cleveland. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. The nine-foot shot. And it's off the back rim. No good. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of half. Shots good by Iguodala. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. His defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. When Joel Embiid entered the NBA, many questioned if he would be able to overcome the devastating injury. Well, you know, he didn't play his first two years in the league. Most questions were fair to ask. I mean, is this guy ever going to get on the court? But once he did, oh my, a monster. I've not seen a big guy do the stuff Joel Embiid can do. It's actually insane. Porzingis is checked in for New York. Grant comes in for Rodman. Passes it to Cummings. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite that. The Magic trail by 13. Peyton kicks to Matumbo. Magic moving the ball around. It's tipped. To the paint. Here's Peyton. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. And with that one, it ends in an 11-0 run by New York. So for the Magic, Terry Rozier comes in for Ingram. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Murray. The pass to Persingas. Michael Jordan on the wing. Persingas passes to Jordan. Cummings grabs the board. Cummings got 11 rebounds in the game. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Fox looking it over. Pass to Rozier. Five to shoot. That's the three fly. It's rebounded by New York. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Down low and stolen by Peyton. Rozier against a good out. And it's Rozier missing. The Knicks leading by 11. Here's Jordan. Here's Grant. 
And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Providing exactly what the team needs from him. Grant uses his reach to reel in that offensive rebound and make sure they convert. Payton kicks to Matumbo. Back to Payton. Takes a three. They grab their own miss. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Tough situation for the defense inside. But for Tumbo's size and strength, it's not easy to guard him. Wow. New York with the ball. They've got a 13-2 run going. Michael Jordan using that strength of his to get into the defense to draw the foul on the way up. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stat game has been going for the Knicks. No adjustments made by the other team, and they couldn't defend against the speed of this group. They've been running over them in this one. And, you know, on top of that, second chance points have been a major component for them. And I love the relentlessness they've shown on the offensive glass. They get the rebound, a Matumbo, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And Matumbo, a defensive force, a long, intelligent player who plays well on both ends of the floor. And he's good on the second. And the Knicks with possession. They're on a 14-3 run. Jordan, the pass to Persingas. Matumbo is a nice D. The Magic trail by 13. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Feeds it to Shrem. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Knicks lead by 15. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. And you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene. Right side, Jordan. Matumbo is a nice D. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy... And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for New York. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. We've got more in store for you right after this. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. That's right. I mean, that's not his primary duty, but when the situation calls for it, he can do it and does it well. Jordan, second personal foul. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So with Iguodala sitting on the bench, here's the five for Tom Thibodeau right now. Jordan is out there with starts. Then it's Andrew Wiggins, then it's Rodman, and it's Embiid, and it's center. Shot clock at six, and there's the call on Joel Embiid. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Knicks making a change here. Iguodala's checked in. Here's Fox. He kicks it to Ingram. And a miss there on the triple. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. And it's blocked by Jordan. Boy, much respect for the defense of Jordan. I mean, he gives his all on this end of the floor. I mean, fantastic. Getting his hands up to block shots. Not a lot of resistance on the inside. And they're taking full advantage. Playing the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. And that'll be his third foul so far. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. 
Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Jamal Mosley was saying to the team. He was disappointed in the shot selection. He told them, stay patient, run the offense, make the extra pass. You don't have to make up the deficit all at once. See if they start shooting a little better. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. Here's Rodman. A second chance effort, and it's sent back by Matumbo. And this is Matumbo's calling card, using that wide wingspan to just erase shots left and right. The Knicks leading by 13. Outside Jordan. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, good job to take it right at him. Yeah, really left him no choice there. He had the foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. And he's letting a lot of points get away at the free throw line tonight. It's got to be frustrating to have all that hard work not pay off. And stolen by Jordan. On the wing starts. The dish to Rodman. It's deflected. Ingram with it. And it's in the it him up. And slammed up by Ingram. Phenomenal athleticism from Ingram. I mean, really looking to rip that basket up with that strong dunk. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Adjustment.